Okay, so good afternoon. We are the SLS Beach Ambassadors, a group of six girls with hopes of minimizing minimizing the uh, pollutants on Greystone beaches. So uh, we are proud to say that we have successfully implemented our beach cleaning project uh, since uh, seven months ago throughout Pernambuco's coastal area. So our project was born on uh, August 2017, and we still wish to aid, to aid sharing both our ideas, word and idea, uh, through, throughout South America and hopefully the whole world. So we initially based ourselves off the own, uh, off the NGO Amigos Uma, a project sharing both uh, similarities and differences with our own. So, so we have, uh, in, a, in an attempt to assess the fauna and flora of the area we've been working in with, we have making we have been making a classification trying to classificate everything we found on the beaches, local beaches that we've been performing our beach cleanings. So, and we we would like to imply that has been quite a lot of, of both fauna and flora that we've been finding and classificating and registering. So we focus ourselves on three main pillars: so education, action, and propagation. Overall, overall, our goal is to overall our goal is to uh, 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 raise awareness of other students and, hope, and uh, try and try to help them uh, pre perform their own beach cleaning so we can make uh, beaches beaches uh, safer and better places for both us humans and the marine fauna and flora. Hi, my name is Maria Clara, and I'm going to talk. Um, and I'm going to talk a bit about marine maritime safety pollution. Maritime safety pollution is based on two main factors, the causes and the effects. One of them is sewage. Sewage is a pollution going directly or indirectly to the ocean. Uh, uh, indirectly is, be is because sewage can go to rivers and drainages, but both of them later are going to the ocean. Uh, on the sewage can go a a chemicals, uh, can go substances and minerals from mining camps, and they affect on the marine life. Another one is toxic chemicals from industries. Uh, those toxic chemicals, they're they're really bad for the for the for for the composition, and they may they make um, they they affect on the food on the food chain on the reproductive system of animals and their life. Another one is really is really common to say it, but land runoff is one of them. Land, land runoff gets uh, is the water infiltrating on the soil, and then and then the the things that are in the soil, man-made substances like uh, pesticides, uh, agrotoxic, and there are the agricultural and human and agricultural industrial waste. They are in the land. With the land runoff, they go directly to the ocean, making the life of animals difficult. Um, by uh, getting plastic on the way, getting uh, man-made uh, materials. Another one is la large-scale water spills. Um, it's sh it is mainly ship pollution because the oil from ships they go they go they go to the ocean. Um, if they are really it's a substance that makes life for for animals difficult also because they can't move when they get trapped in it. They can't move. They can't breathe, they can't breathe. Breathe because, like um, fish, they have they they have gills, and they and when the the oil gets in them, they can't feed, they can't live. So um, many animals are already found on that on the oil on the oil spills, and they are and they are main dead. When they when when the large scale when the oil is spreading, they it creates a dead zone, uh, no uh, area that is impossible for animals to live. Uh, another one is ocean mining. Uh, ocean mining on the deep sea, like three kilometers down, they they are mining to find silver, gold, copper, copper, and and and, and split. And these 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 minerals, they the humans are they are really wanted to find. They really they, it's they really want to gather them 
and they and the substances in them they make the they make the world they make the everything really hard for animals down there to live. The sun the the sun does not reach does not reach when really low because uh, the light the, cannot enter when it's really low um, and the pressure is really high. So the light for 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 animals there is really difficult and they can't move because they're adapted to the to the the condition of life in there. Another one is lithium. Lithium is when the the winds they blow uh, they blow plastic, human-made objects, and all those things to the ocean, and and can, other other things are like fishermen's nets. Those things they are blown to the ocean, and then animals can get trapped in it. They can eat like uh, turtles. They they are the most effective ones because they eat plastics, and this is not this is not okay. Um, these are these are these are the effects um, of the of the all the th all the things that I said. Like one of the effects, it, it's really not common to say, but global warming affects a, a lot on the marine life because it rises the temperature and fish cannot like live in the temperature like changes a lot. When the temperature changes a lot, it's not really uh, normal for them to live in there. And another one is oxygen. Uh, oxygen depletes. They get. They, they go away. Like the oxygen deplete. The oxygen depletes. Um, when the oxygen is really low, um, it's harder for fish to live too, because uh, levels of oxygen can change a, a lot because they are not uh, uh, used to the change. And these are uh, food chain disruption. If because um, if some if uh, let's say a lot of a lot of turtles die. What what what, what the, the sharks and the other animals will have to eat? Nothing. So the food chain is really affected. Um, uh, oxygen depletion, I said, and impact on human health. Because many there's a story from the from the org uh, from the organization that we inspired that we are inspired about, Parceiros do Mar. That uh, that uh, the sister from the the, the girl who created the ONG, um, she was trapped in a fisherman's net, which means that our waste affects a lot of human health. A lot of people can die, a lot of people can get uh, 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 affected by diseases caused by uh, our waste. So it's, uh, it's about um, being conscious. We need to know what it's about. That's why we're raising awareness. That's why I think uh, our project is that important. Okay, so I'm Adela Maffinelli and I'm going to talk about some curiosity I've ever heard about a trash island at the Pacific Ocean. It extends between Japan coast and the United States west coast. It's 700,000 kilometers square and is around 57,000 kilometers square bigger than France. It was discovered by scientists around 1985 to 1988. It is affecting also all the marine life and it's not the only place that's really polluted but also all the oceans. The most affected animals are turtles, whales, sea lions, dolphins, fish, and seabirds. The most damaged one is our turtles. Turtles, they change their food from plastic bags or maybe just plastic materials, and they swallow it. Um, around 700 species and 100 million animals die per year because of the pollution. Other one are the seabirds. Seabirds, their hunting techniques are by diving their head on the water and getting some fish to eat and everything. But now they're getting just more plastic and plastic. And it's affecting a lot. Here it's what happens, some causes of swallowing plastic. You already saw some images of dead fish in some rivers. Those fishes, they're affected by some industries and they um, kill a lot of them because they can't, um, they can't resist to so many pollution. Um, so here is a representation of a trapped whale. It calls people attention to show how is it make a huge impact in the marine life. So here they show also a dolphin trapped in a plastic bag. So um, have you ever heard that Mediterranean Sea is the most polluted sea? Around 80% of the, his waters is affected by pollution and the fish, um, fish biodiversity is getting just lower and smaller. 
So fishermen, they told that the quantity is just getting worse and worse. And if we don't stop right now, it's just going to get worse. So um, it takes around 700 years to a fisherman's net to be decomposed into the Earth's, um, Earth's surface. And here is a, how important it is for us to, um, to save some materials, to bring plastic, not, to not use plastic bottles, and to bring your own bottle to whatever you're going to go, and to just to don't consume the plastic materials. It's a huge challenge for people that want to um, reduce the amount of trash in the sea there. And that's due to the extensive coastline that we do have. There are seven, more than 7,000 uh, 7, kilometers of coast, 17 states, more than 400 cities, and, two, and more than 2,000 beaches. Um, Brazil, uh, uh, Brazil's situation is very critical because it occupies the 16th place in the rank of countries that most pollute the seas. Every year is thrown 180,000 of tons of plastic uh, at Brazilian beaches, and that makes 95% of the plastic uh, of the trash that is thrown there. Um, and the main causes of it is in the, uh, the inadequate management of urban waste, economic and poor activities, and tourism. Um, at the northeast of Brazil, tourism is the main cause, and especially because in the summer, a lot of people go there and, and they throw trash in the, rim, in the sea, and it really causes a, a huge damage. Uh, and, and the park activities at Paiva Beach, where we started our project, is the main, is the main cause, because people that had boats and, and people that had boats, etc., they threw trash in the Suave River, and then it, it went to the Paiva Beach. Windows Unun is the owner of the second most subscribed YouTube channel in Brazil, has asked for a cooperation from everybody because everybody uh, is feeling how damaged our beaches are and they're not uh, being as pretty as they should be anymore. Uh, so he asked for a cooperation. Uh, and that's, their, uh, that's the reality that is coming to Brazil every year, every day. People can see in the news or in the internet um, things about turtles that were dead because uh, because of plastic and animals that had plastic injuries and that's really sad because we don't want this anymore and we want our beaches back. Okay, so my name is Amanda and now I'm going to talk about what we've done so far. The first step of our project was to decide the beach in which we believed it needed our immediate attention. We decided to start in Paiva Beach, which is one of Cabo de Santa Agostinho's coastal, coastal beaches, they said of Pernambuco in Brazil. So Paiva Beach is full of ecological reserves, natural warm pools, and it's surrounded by reefs. The clear water and the white sand makes the perfect scenario for tourists from all over the world to have their first encounter with marine life. So we decided to step in and take action because of the increase of number of dead animals such as turtles and different species of fishes and because due to pollution and the garbage thrown on the beaches. So our next step was to create a logo which would, would represent our goals and objectives of our project. We would use the logo for all our advertisement campaign and um, we also made this poster for people to realize um, the sad consequences of their wrong actions. So we created an, an Instagram account to post our beach cleanups and what we found there. So um, during the beach cleanups, we also tried to identify the different species found on the sea, such as this one. This was one of our main steps during this project, to, to identify them and to see, 
to and to realize that several animals are being killed because of plastic and all the pollution that is thrown on the beaches. This is ours, us in our one of our beach cleanups. But what can you do to fight against marine pollution and help reduce the impact of trash on our beaches? So marine pollution um, really affects our coasts and our oceans in many different forms. Marine pollution can destroy marine species and destroy whole communities of different living things. Number one is to reduce your waste. We produce thousands of waste each day and our oceans are becoming landfills. An overwhelmingly significant amount of trash is harming both marine lives and our own lives. And so what we can do, one of the main ways to reduce marine pollution is to get rid carefully of trash wherever you are because most of the trash that end up in the ocean comes first here. So if we reduce our waste here in the land, consequently there will be less waste or trash in the oceans. You can also recycle um, papers, cans, and plastics home and also reuse things that it once thought of throwing away. Number two is only rain goes down the stormwater drain. So one way that trash makes it into the ocean is through stormwater drains. Stormwater drains, they are they collect and remove rainwater from the streets and these pipes transfer the mix of trash and ocean and rainwater to the ocean through streams and rivers. And so we really need to be careful not to throw trash in the streets because it may and it will end up in the ocean. Number three is take care of a local stream. As you know, streams and rivers will lead up into the ocean. So what you can do if you take care of a stream, there will be less um, trash that will end up in the ocean. So please, um, you can um, pick up trash in your ocean streams. You can also plant trees and plants because it can hold stream and river beds together. Number four is to find out more about your local beach. To start at your local beach, it will make a huge difference because if you clean it and take it home, it will be starting to make a difference near you, so it will be really easy and it will make a huge difference. Marine pollution really impacts us because if you eat um, seafood from a beach or swim at a beach with a high concentration of pollution, it can really harm us. Number five is to become number five is to become an SOS beach ambassador. Being an SOS beach ambassador means that you're active and aware of our fight against marine pollution. We need to be raising awareness within our community and also our schools and classmates. And we also need to be continually advocating um, beach cleanups, saving marine lives, and minimizing the impact of trash in our oceans and beaches. Goals. Fight against pollution. So we first fought. Um, we first try, try to fight pollution by collecting trash and waste in Paiva Beach. We also try to encourage a lot of people to make part of SOS Beach Ambassador to become our partners. Yeah, this we try to inspire our community. Our next goal is to create an app and also to spread our ideas, environmental ideas, to other schools, groups, so that they can become SOS Beach Ambassadors and they, and they can act around, uh, without boundaries. More about the app. So we're giving you the good chance to help the world. So what you would do with, the, with this app, you could collect trash, you could go to a body of water near you and you would collect trash and make cleanups. And these cleanups, you would register all your action in the app. And why will that be useful? Because we can have essential information about the amount of trash, the um, amount of people that helped, and so we can know how many people were inspired about the project, and how many people um, are our partners in this fight against uh, pollution in our oceans. Test for this year, you want to register 100 new ambassadors, so anyone that wants to help us in this fight, collect, doing beach cleanups will, will be very welcome. 
second is to do one meetup every two months. We were doing like, we were kind of disorganized and the cleanups were really going to maintain a goal of test. Number three is going three different beaches. We were thinking about Ponto de Galinhas, Boa Viagem, Tenerife, different beaches, um, and also Paiva, if you want to get. And also to raise awareness to our community and our school and anyone that, like, everyone will be helpful. This is the moment when we must come together to save this planet. Let us re resolve that we will not leave our children a world where the oceans rise and from each spreads and terrible storms devastate our lives forever. Thank you.